And good day. Today we're having a look at these. These are egg toppers or egg cutters if you like. And they're designed for one purpose only, and that's to cut the shell of a soft boiled egg and you get a nice uh, knife in there and slice it off and get you a nice clean cut. Now the very first topper I bought was this one. The second egg topper is this one over here. They're similar, but they've got teeth in there to uh, grip the egg and cut it. This is a spring loaded uh, egg topper over here. This particular egg cutter, if you like, or topper, is actually a gravity fed one, and this one over here is a spring loaded one. Now I'm going to do a video on each of them, and I'll be explaining which ones I like, which ones I don't, and the ones I don't, trust me, they're not worth a cent, as far as I'm concerned, but uh, you have to watch to find out which ones. Now let's uh, try this first one, see if it's any good, eh? It's got teeth on it, see if we can do it. Okay, that's a, now I'll turn it over, try the other side, and it's definitely not working, let's try the egg upside down just in case, you never know, we'll try again, um, hmm. This was the first one that I, I bought, and uh, as you can see you have a little scissor action in there, and uh, pops in on the egg. I thought that would be good, but it turns out the egg doesn't fit in there. So maybe for small eggs, quail eggs, it may work. My personal opinion, chuck it in the rubbish bin, don't bother, waste of time. This one, which is a similar sort of thing, but I'm not hopeful. Oh, hang on, it might, might work. Oh, we've got a definite side. Let's have a crack at this one. We've got something, it cracked the egg, but it uh, doesn't look the best. So, hmm, hello, well, that uh, sort of worked. Second one I bought was this one. And again, I thought, well, the first one may be faulty. I thought maybe this one would be a better option. You push those little things in, and the teeth pop out in between. And again, same sort of result. You've got a smaller size on this side, slightly larger on this. And again, basically waste of time. Maybe again like the previous one, they're good for quail eggs, but apart from that, don't waste your money, waste of time. Egg topper is this type, which is a gravity fed one. So the idea is you put that on top of the egg, lift up the little ball and release it. So let's see what happens. We'll put it on top and we'll pull up the little ball and let go. I'll give that maybe two goes and we'll see what happens. Yep, we've cut it. Um, Perhaps not as clean as the other one, maybe the first cut or first drop would have done it, but there you go, there's the third one. Now, this one here works quite well, there's, there's nothing wrong with this. It works on a principle of this metal ball sliding down, so it's a gravity feed. Um, fits the egg nicely, produces a good cut. Sometimes you need to do it a couple of times to get the cut um, perfect. The only drawback on this one, it's a bit on the large side, but it works perfectly, nothing wrong with it, and you'd be happy if you purchased that one. And uh, here we go with this little egg topper. The idea is you put it on top of the egg, lift up, and let go of that, and that is meant to crack it. And as you can see, that didn't uh, do a very good job. We'll try again. Give it a bit more whack. And that's definitely cut at that time. And let's see what we've got. And off comes the top. There we go. Not too bad. The next in the lineup is this one here. Um, it's quite an interesting design. It's on like a spring steel. You lift this little weight and uh, you rest that on top of the egg, the little cup there, and the weight, the force of that hitting the top impacts uh, the metal, and which of course cracks the egg itself. It works quite well. Uh, I only wish it had a slightly larger cup in here, and this would be my number one choice. But unfortunately, they don't. It's a little bit on the small side. It does work, it's compact, not bad. Now, this particular device is a spring-loaded one. So, to get the topper to work, you put it on top, hold it in position, lift up the spring, release it, and in theory, if all goes well, it's cut through, which it has, and there you go. Now, on to this one. This is a spring-loaded one, so simply by pulling that up, releasing it, you can adjust the pressure um, of the actual cutting force down onto the egg itself. It works 
perfectly. I allow the grandkids to use this one, never have an issue with it. And as I said, this is my favorite one out of the lot. It's compact, fits in the drawer, doesn't take up much space, lightweight, can't argue. Now, if you don't agree with me, you know, feel free to pop a comment down below and let me know if I've perhaps used the first two incorrectly, the scissor type ones. Maybe I'm, I'm using them totally wrong. I don't know. But feel free to pop a comment down below and let me know which is your favorite one. And if you don't mind, please subscribe if you haven't already. If not, doesn't matter. I may or may not see you on the very next video. All the very best till then. Take care.